What's the one thing you can't travel without? One thing I can't travel without? You gotta have your phone. Your phone? Yeah, you gotta have your phone. Okay. Lexi here and well we are on our first 10 day road trip of the baseball season so we did four cities in 10 days and right now actually we are in Arizona and we are on the two of the four so we started off in San Francisco then we head to San Diego now we're in Arizona then we head to Anaheim and then back to San Francisco this was a long road trip 10 days and each city had a different like weather so it's kind of hard to pack for stuff like that so San Diego was kind of chilly hot during the day but it gets really cold at night obviously it's by the beach and then Arizona it's warm here it's like 81 85 it's beautiful and then back to Anaheim which is also kind of beachy weather and it's a little warm in the day but one day it's warm the next day it's cold so it like goes up and down it's kind of hard to predict but I thought because it's such a long road trip I wanted to share with you guys some of my travel essentials that I need to keep in my bag at all times. They never come out, this is what I use. And if I can help you in your travel, then you know what? I've done my job. So first on my list is the Lancer skincare stuff. I have it in the traveling size. I have my polish, my cleanse, and of course my moisturizer. They're small, so you could carry them on technically. They are TSA approved, but I put them in my bag. But I love, love, love this stuff. And I love that I'm making them small for trips like this. So the Lancer is my first one. Okay, the second one is, you guys know I have naturally curly hair, so when I blow dry it, I don't like to use the blow dryers that they have at the hotels. I don't care how nice the hotel is, the blow dryers that they put in hotel rooms, I mean, I might as well be blow drying my hair like this. Like it just does not do anything for my hair. So I decided to invest in one of the Dyson hair blowers, but it's totally worth it for me because a, it's only a pound. This is 1.4 pounds, so that's like nothing, okay? So I've invested in one of these, and also the noise is way quieter, so I don't feel like I'm going deaf while I'm blow drying my hair. And it actually dries my hair faster than a normal hair blower. So a normal hair blower weighs about three to four pounds, depending on what kind you have. But this is like a pound, guys. Almost two, 1.4 give or take so this was a huge investment for me and I freaking love this so I just keep this in my bag and it's always there with my hot iron and when I'm feeling extra spicy and like I didn't pack as much clothes I will pack my curling iron too so these are my definite must you guys have heard me my latest obsession this year have you heard me talk about it in so many videos and on my social packing cube that's right you guys look how many pants I fit into this packing cube look at this this is a lot of pants, okay? When you're packing for 10 days, my problem is, so I don't like plan outfits. So I've streamlined a lot of like what I wear so it all mixes and matches. And some days you wake up and you're like, oh, I don't really wanna wear that, you know? And other days you're like, oh, I should have worn that yesterday. Or you know, you just sometimes don't feel like wearing certain things that you've packed. So with packing cubes, it kind of takes everything. I fit so many pants in here and I've rolled them. Look at this. Look at this, there's like eight pairs of pants in here and it just kind of compacts it more neatly, I guess. So it just like puts it all in here like this. And I have this and like some of my shirts and like my workout clothes and it just like, it compacts it. So it kind of puts it all together. So super compact like this, bada bing, bada boom. I have a lot of pants now. So that's a definite must in my suitcase. My next one is my first aid kit. I put it in here. So I hate being sick on the road, like in a hotel room or like during spring training, I got the flu and I had no medicine. So this was a definite, and I didn't have medicine for like the stomach flu. I had like Advil and stuff, but like I definitely amped up my travel first aid kit because that taught me like, I need to be prepared for all situations. You need a quick surgery, I've got the stuff. Just kidding, I don't. But <laughs> I do have the stuff to get me through till I see a doctor or something like that. When I travel, sometimes I get a little blocked up in the bathroom department. So I try to travel with aloe vera and that kind of helps so it keeps things moving and going. Aloe vera, probably my little secret to uh, getting things moving. My next thing is I always, I try to travel with thermometer because you know when you're not feeling good, you wanna make sure you don't have a fever. I have that in here. Travel Advil, this is a must, 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 must. Oh yeah, I got this. It's for like upset stomach, indigestion, heartburn. Hunter gets heartburn sometimes. So I have this in here. 
just in case, alcohol pads, band-aids, gauze, that kind of stuff. And these you can get at like, oops, these you can get at like Target. But I can put them in my Amazon list, so look for the link below. Let's see what else do I have in here. Oh, I also put like downy wrinkle release, just in case it it's wrinkled in my bag. And plus it just smells really good, because sometimes, I don't know, in the suitcase it gets like a little smelly. And yeah, I just wanna make sure I have something to like, not douse myself in perfume, but like something a little bit more fresh. So I have this. And I have a tie to go pen. I also have um, <laughs> shout wipes. For whatever reason, since I can't do laundry here on the road, I wanna make sure I can get the stain out. Let's see. I have polydent. I know you're thinking, why does she have polydent? Are her teeth not real? No, I use this to clean my retainer um, when I'm on the road. It's super easy, three minutes, you put it in a cup, you fill it with water, put your retainer in there, and it cleans it so nicely. Super, super easy. Sewing kit. Oh yeah, this is from when I got sick, anti-diarrhea. <laughs> Definitely have enough in there. And more Advil, Neosporin, what is this? Another sewing kit. Oh, and if I'm having trouble sleeping, I like to put lavender essential oil on the bottom of my big toe, and this kind of helps you like fall asleep. So like sometimes jet lag, or you know, when we go to New York or the East Coast, we're like not on their same, obviously not on their same time, so the first couple nights are a little rough. So you put this on your big toe, and it's supposed to help you go to sleep, and I really like it, and it's like all natural, so it's an essential oil. And that's it, I just wanna make sure I'm prepared. You know what I mean, jelly beans? And that's all I have in there. But yeah, that's kind of what I like to travel with. I like to make sure we're repair, prepared so we're not like suffering when we get someplace and really just like not enjoying our time because there's nothing like being sick in a hotel room and you don't have anywhere to go or like a car to go to like Walgreens or CVS or anything like that. So I just wanna make sure that we're prepared and we have everything we need for that just in case moment. Three, four, oh, my fifth one, that's right. Okay, my fifth one is, and I'm wearing them right now, are sweatpants. <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. You always need to pair a pack. You always need to pack a pair of sweatpants because sometimes you're just hanging out in the hotel room, you know? Sometimes you just you're not going out or you have an early night or like, you know, you just want to be a little bit comfortable. You just have to run like across the street or whatever. Sweatpants and like a hooded sweatshirt are a must just to hang out in. They're not quite pajamas but they're not quite jeans, <laughs> and they're just good to like hang out with, just anywhere in the hotel. Sweatpants are a must, or if you're just hanging out here, doing your makeup or your hair, while you're getting ready to go out, or just a cozy night, early night, late night, whatever, they're great. Or if you decide on your flight home, you're like, screw it, I don't wanna wear my jeans, I'm wearing my sweatpants. Sweatpants are a must. Again, I'm pointing down, because I'm wearing them now. Sweatpants are my favorite. So those are my travel essentials. If you guys want more, if you want my carry-on essentials, that's a whole other thing. Look at this bag, all full of goodies. So if you guys want this, let me know. Yeah, those are kind of my essentials. I can show you guys more if you want or what I keep in my toiletry bag. I'm happy to share everything I got and I'd love to hear your tips. So let me know. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. like this video go ahead and hit that like button also let me know in the comments below what your travel essentials are I'm looking to add to mine and I need your help and I'd love to hear what you guys travel with and maybe it's something I'm missing so definitely let me know and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please be sure to do so why because I post videos here every single week and I don't want you to miss one also go ahead and hit that notifications button so whenever I upload a video you get a notification and you won't miss a thing how exciting is that and I'll see you in the chat bye